Hello, I'm going to talk to you about effective communication today. Effective communication is when both the sender and the receiver of the message are clear and align on one meaning of the message being sent. Effective communication is also when both the sender and the receiver understand what the other person is saying and then respond accordingly. So why is effective communication important in the workplace? It is important because we need to align all uh, our content uh, in accordance with whatever is being said or being presented. So a few things that you should know about effective communication are that in order to effectively communicate, you have to actively listen to the, what the other person is saying. If I'm using my phone and I'm telling you the same thing that I'm saying right now, you would be lesser interested in the content that I'm sharing with you. But if I put my phone or my laptop screen aside and talk to you one on one, you're going to be more actively involved in what I have to say. The second most important thing is that uh, you need to be more focused on what the other person is saying rather than on your surroundings. If I'm talking to you, but I'm looking at the surrounding, noticing the cooler there or the lights or what anything else, then you're not going to be interested in what I have to say. The third most important thing in effective communication is the use of gestures and hand movements. I can talk to you uh, while I have my hands down and I have a very bland face and I, I talk to you in the same manner. My content is the same, but you're not going to be more interested in it. But if I use my hands, if I use one, two, three like this, instead of just saying one, two, three, then you're not going to be interested in what I have to say. So this is another, way, another thing that you should be wary of. Another thing is the tone of voice. If I use a very dynamic tone of voice because I highlight some point so that my pitch is higher and then I uh, I need to say some other things subtly, then my voice is going to be lower. So when you have a dynamic tone of voice, the other person listens to you more actively. So you should adopt all of these one, two, three and four things that I just mentioned in order to effectively communicate in the workplace. Thank you.